Welcome to our team when you fuck up. I just thought of uh, helping with uh, you guys, you the students, how to answer biology, especially where it comes to essay type of questions. So I just want to give you the tips on how you are supposed to answer. So the first thing is first, you need to understand the question, of course, that's number one thing. Then you need to write uh, the essay paragraph. You also need to consider the number of marks or location of marks. You also need to use biological terms. Now, what do I mean by essay question? So I can ask you to describe, to explain, to discuss. Those are some of the questions that they will ask you. And when they ask you like that, it means you need to write in paragraph. Even if the question carries only three marks, as long as they have used those terms, you need to write in a paragraph. So why am I talking about this? I've discovered that most students do not pass biology because they don't know how to write essays, especially on how to use biological terms. So I have an example. This is just a very simple uh, topic that I'm doing for today so that you can learn and know that you need to use biological terms as you are writing your essays in biology. Biology is actually a simple subject. It's about what goes on in life. Very good. So for example, we have this question. Explain what would happen when a red blood cell is put in a hypertonic solution. So, what you need first of all to understand is what is a hypotonic solution? So, there are three kinds of solutions. Hypotonic, hypertonic, and isotonic solution. So, this example is basically talking about hypotonic solution. So, now, what is a hypotonic solution? So, this is a solution that has more water molecules in it as compared to the inside of the cell. So now we are being questioned to say, what will happen if we put a red blood cell in hypotonic solution? So when a red blood cell is placed in a hypotonic solution, it gains water. It's very true. By what process? By osmosis. So if you just say it gains water, you have not used any biological term. But when you put osmosis, even the one who is mapping, who will be able to know that ah, this child or this student know what she is talking about. So that's why it is important to ensure that you use biological terms so that any one who is marking a paper doesn't even have doubts on what to give you as in the marks that you are supposed to be given. Very good. So now, what is it that happens? So as it, um, as it is being placed in a hypertonic solution, it starts to gain water, or it continues to gain water. So the, the cell swells, sorry, the cell swells or expands and uh, enlarges in size. Now, since a red blood cell does not have a cell wall, so what will happen to it is that it is going to burst. So the process of bursting of the red blood cell is referred to as lysis. So when you write this word, then the teacher will know that you know what you're talking about. And this is a biological term to mean that the red blood cell is going to swell and eventually burst. So the red blood cell, when it is put in a hypotonic solution, it will continue gaining water. As it gains water, since it does not have the cellulose that a plant cell has, so it it does. So it's simple. That's how you explain things in biology. So as you can see, it needs to be in a paragraph. Sorry, I didn't indent you right in here, but you're supposed to indent indent. So it's supposed to be in a paragraph. You ensure that you write um, biological terms. You, you add them as you are explaining. It has to also 